surprise. I'm in Italy. It's a little awkward being in a very couple-y hotel as a solo traveler. Good morning. I just walked 18 minutes straight uphill from the parking garage to get to this trail. And guess what? The trail is straight uphill for like four and a half miles. <laughs> but I brought my hiking poles today. Haven't used that before. I'm trying to get to Seseda. The um, cable car doesn't start till 9 a.m. and I just kind of wanted to beat the crowd. So it's a quarter to seven now. I think I'll still get up before 9 a.m. I just don't know. Maybe not. That's probably, probably not. But it will be an adventure. I'm already sweating. Awesome. Also, this sewing is rather misleading, but there is no trail up at four. And this is where the trail map says to start. So I'm gonna hope I'm going the right way, but I have a tendency to not go the right way. But um, yeah. What could go wrong? I think I made it to the church, which this trail is named after, called St. Jacob. Are you sure that's where I am? Oh, come on. What is this magic? apparently the oldest church in the valley. Ancient road. Wow. Well, they don't open until 10, but that's all right. It's only 7.30. It was, I mean, look at this. Wow. You can see why they wanted to build a church here. It's stunningly beautiful. I can't believe there was a road here that long ago. 14... 32. Wow. It's so peaceful this morning. I'm loving this. This is really challenging hike for me. I'm not an expert hiker by any sense of the imagination, but I'm just really enjoying the peace and quiet in the forest. Caught behind the Venetian blinds Had to reach for the city lines This ain't where I belong Ain't look at me, man, what I become I've been running east Looking for something Digging deep since now no joke. Well, I made it to this point, which is blessed, and I'm pretty sure where I'm going is up at the tippy top of that, which according to my trail map is at 8,200 feet, and I am currently at, I don't even know, I've got, let's just say I've got a lot more elevation gain. Let me look at my Garmin. I'm only at 6,000 feet. Okay, so I have 2,300, give or take, more feet of elevation gain. It's going to take me several more hours to get up there. So I'm going to sit and take a break for like a good 15 minutes. Maybe get the drone out again. I'm just trying to get it out while I have 
nobody else on the trail that I'm disturbing. Because I know when I get to the top, there's going to be lots of people from the cable car. Look, you can just sort of see. The camera does not quite do reality justice. Any camera will not quite do reality justice, but I did, you know, especially the cameras I'm using on this trip are just my small, lightweight ones. I didn't want to look the big guy. Um, but it's still pretty gorgeous, isn't it? And of course we have Jesus here helping us rest a little bit at this spot. Pretty view. I'm really glad I did this. This is really hard work for me, but it is really nice. That's the path I'm going to go up. <sighs> I think I've lost my goddamn mind. <laughs> Excuse me, Jesus. I didn't mean to curse in front of you. Funny thing about hiking like this with such elevation is you really need the layers. Like I'm wearing a base tee and a long sleeve base and I'm like soaked, sweating, right? But as soon as I stop for more than like two seconds, I start to get freezing. So I brought this um, icebreaker hoodie for when I'm stopped. I probably could even use like my vest or something at the top. I don't know. I think there's a refugio up there, I'm hoping. <laughs> there's a place to get lunch, otherwise I'll just get lunch in town. I did bring some food with me. I'm not actually hungry right now, but uh, yeah, mini muffins did the trick. They're just some carbs just pushing me up this mountain. But I'm really glad I brought these layers. Even though it's so, it feels so contradictory when I'm like sweating so much. Don't look before you leave. What you give, you get to keep. So long, farewell, bye-bye Let's have a toast for those lost old eyes Well, I made it to something. They're working on something here. I think these are ski slopes in the winter. It sounds like they're cutting down a lot of trees or something. I don't know. But look, I'm somewhere. <laughs> picturesque, isn't it? I'm still going up, 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 but uh, it is lovely. I am corked, though. Wow, I am corked, but onward. All I know, I got lost along the way, fell between the fold, wind stitches. Well, I'm getting closer. I recognize those grassy cliffs. I'm still going up though. I mean, just, could this be any more epic? Could it be any more epic? guys I really want to do this I mean with a guide obviously but I'm gonna look into that see if that's something I can do while I'm here Wow also I kind of love the cows just hanging out here hi cows just hanging out gorgeous mountain behind you go baby Oh, I made it to the cable car. I'm dressed when my feet were like, nope, we're done. And I'm hoping, really hoping, because I studied the map quite a bit, that this lands me right by the parking garage where I parked my car. So all in told, I hiked just shy of six miles and I scaled up like four, what was it, 4,000? 4,100 feet in elevation. Now that's from the parking garage, not from the trailhead. From the trailhead it was like 38 something or something like that, I can't remember. It was fun, it was exhausting, 
that I think that's the reason why I got kind of emotional at the restaurant. I'm just tired. I can feel like salt on my skin, almost like I've run a race. <laughs> it feels like, that's what it feels like in my body. Like my legs are fine. It was just the cardiovascular going uphill, straight uphill for over five miles. <laughs> this is a lot. But I'm very happy to be sitting on the cable car by myself right now. See? Most people see. I didn't see any other person hiking up the way I did. Not a soul. But once I got to the top, lots of people. And because they take the cable cars, which is smart. If I wanted to come back up and do any of the hikes around Seseda, I don't know if I'm saying that right, uh, I would definitely take the cable car next time and just get on it right when it opens at nine. Um, because I'm not scaling that mountain again. <laughs> it was fun, but once was enough, my feet need a break. So I think I'm actually just gonna go back to the hotel and finally check out the pool area. They have a hot tub, I want to get in, and just take, take my candle and read and relax. Ew. Did I tell you what time it is? It's like, it's one o'clock now, so yeah. I started this to run the parking garage like just before 6.30. And I did sit a few, for a few blips there and I had that meal. But, uh, good morning but now I'm tired. Um, I am, I don't want to give the wrong impression that I'm just disappointed. I mean, that is, that's the right impression because it's the truth. I am, I'm a little disappointed about the general vibe of the people that I've encountered while I've been here. But I mean, I've only been here for four days. <laughs> everything off of that and also with COVID I think everybody's just a little less friendly even in America just a little less friendly than we used to be because we're all just tired and weary and blah but uh, yeah it's been I don't know I don't know if I want to sit down at a restaurant again if I'm being honest I kind of just maybe Maybe I'll just eat peanut butter sandwiches for dinner. I never eat my sandwich that I packed. Or just go out and grab something, like a grab and go kind of thing. I don't know, this just got real loud. But yeah. <laughs> my camera's tired too. All right, <laughs> to the relaxing part. <laughs>